Arch Linux is for stupid people, and this is why, okay? I'm gonna I'm gonna rant to you boys, because it annoys me. The elitists of this world. Right. It's five commands to install. It's an unnecessary barrier. Who cares that it's hard to install? Only people who have installed it who think that it makes them superior. It doesn't. It's easy. Anyone can do it. Also, you could install any distro like Arch if you really wanted to, okay? But no one does. Why? Why does no one do it? Because the installers are there, and they're there for a reason. It makes things easier for the sake of being easy, okay? There's no reason to make things hard just to make them hard. If you want that, use Linux from scratch, okay? If you want it as a learning experience, fine. I understand. But use something different. Don't don't use Arch. It's not too easy, and it's also not too hard. It's not the hardest you can go. It's not the easiest you can go. It's some stupid midwit to midpoint, okay? It's like Arch being exclusive. It's gatekeeping. It's like, oh, you can't use my distro because I'm I'm too difficult to install. But I'm also not. I'm just popular. A lot of Arch fanboys say, oh, but I've got full control of my system. But do you really? No. No, you don't, right? It's a silly midpoint between something like Gentoo, where you do have full control, right? Because you even compile your own packages, and those packages, you actually choose the parts that you compile. You make your own kernel, and you also can't technically, and maybe uh, a bit, bit iffy on language there, but you do choose the modules of the kernel to use, okay? So therefore, Gentoo has a point to it. Well, yeah, so it's a silly midpoint between Gentoo and also between something like Ubuntu, where it's done for you, okay? Ubuntu does everything for you. No configuration, it's definitely not yours. But then your Arch install basically ends up looking like an Ubuntu install. Bleaching Edge is very silly. Something like Fedora's idea is better here. It's like bleeding edge packages, but they're tested, okay? Fedora's packages are very new, but they're not bleeding edge. I don't want my system to break. Why do I want that? It's a computer, it's a tool. Oh. But I don't want XORG to break all the time, okay? Mum, XORG broke again. Oh. I know it's a joke, that one actually kind of is, but it's annoying that it breaks, okay? Like, Linux doesn't really break anymore. That's kind of a meme by people who think they, they know a slightly a bit too much than the positives. It is actually good for learning, okay? Like, Gen 2 does teach you more, but Arch teaches you some, it's good. I use it to learn. The logo is really good, okay? The logo's great. Probably the best logo ever. It's not an F, is it? Pac-Man is a very good package manager. I rate it highly. The AUR is, is a bit silly, but it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's lightweight by default, okay? It's good for devices with very little storage. And it's also better than Gen 2 in this one situation because on Gen 2, compilation times takes forever if you're on really old hardware. But on Arch, you know, you're installing binaries, so you're not compiling them. So it's actually really, really good choice for old hardware. The wiki is very pod. It's very, very good. It's really good. Even just for general Linux knowledge, so that's more of an Arch community thing. Bleeding Edge can be useful in some situations, but it's not useful for you. It's also not controlled by Red Hat, you know? I'm gonna have to move away from Fedora because of those bloody, bloody capitalists. Anyway, that's all I have to say. I know you disagree with me, but I don't care. Bye.